You are that girl. You are that girl. You are that girl. What's up, you guys? My name is Shana Renee, aka Miss Kisses or Miss Ray Kisses, if you must, and I'm back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We do a lot of great content over here. We do dancer content, tips for dancers, fashion, styling, DIY, some hair videos, and now I'm adding some sneaker content. It's always fun, it's always random, it's always a good time, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe for sure. I have to say it to myself because I am that girl and I need to be that girl. I need to be that girl right now. So your girl was sent another wig by Amazon and I need to be that girl because it's a frontal y'all. If you've been seeing my page, I haven't did anything with a frontal in so long. So I'm not gonna hold you, I'm a little nervous. Now, anytime I've done a frontal, it was always a hit or miss and figuring it out. Did I figure it out? I don't think so. But I have no choice but to do it today because I'm that girl. I'm her, I'm gonna be her, I gotta do it. So let me show you this wig. This is the wig that I got from InstaStyle on Amazon. The wig comes with the wig cap, these little earrings. We have six inches of curly hair, a cute little pixie cut, cute little ombre. This is 1B27. This looks good on my skin. My mirror is right here. Now I have done like a short haircut a few times in my life, but I don't think I've ever done like a short, really, really short curly haircut and I've always wanted to do it. And I almost did it for my birthday, but I didn't. So I could do it now, I'm excited. The hair feels, it feels semi-soft. Honestly, the ends feels a little rough, just a tad bit, but it's not bad. I could deal with it. It's a tiny bit of shedding, but nothing too crazy. It's curly hair, so it's gonna shed. Now the lace, the lace is, it wants to be like a transparent lace, but yeah, the knots of course is not bleach. Am I bleaching knots? Absolutely not. I'm just gonna put foundation over it and it's good to go. That's what I'm gonna do. Now the inside of the cap, I really wish it was like a full lace or like a deeper part for the lace because you know, I would wanna do like a deep side part, but I can't because this is what it looks like. It's only literally this much parting of lace. And that's like only two inches. So I think it's really made to have your hair like pulled back. And even on the sides, it's really not that much lace, which I'm not happy about, but it's not the biggest deal right now, especially because they sent it to me to try out. So in case y'all trying to feel this out, I got you. Yeah, so it has three combs, two on the side, one in the back. And this is the construction of a cap. I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna do all the things that we need to do. So I'll be back and let's get into it. I'm gonna take you step by step and we're gonna see how we're gonna get this done. Let's get it. Never heard of these, never seen these before, but I'm gonna try it and let's see what's up. Some random wrapping lotion because it's needed. Of course, my first time getting this melting band. Hair is washed, braids are in the back. And this is flat in the front, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. <sighs> this ball cap method never worked out, but we are gonna try it today. So let me gel everything up, and then we are gonna get to it. So I'm starting to gel my edges up so that way it could be out of the way. For some reason, I don't know how my edges still got in the way, but whatever. Trying the ball cap method, do I have any business trying it? Not really, but am I doing it? I'm going to try it out so that way I can get used to it. As you see, I'm doing it here and I don't even know if that's what you're supposed to do, brushing it up like that with the ball cap, but that's what I'm doing because I need it to stick and yeah, I'm lost, but I think it's right. So I'm going to keep going and that's that. I'm going to just throw this bad boy on and see what happens. Okay, 
Instead of bleaching the knots, I'm going to be using this foundation from Good Apple. It is not my favorite foundation. They sent it to me and I honestly thought I liked it, but I don't. So I'm just gonna use it for my wig instead. Now, upon using this, I realized that the color was super dark and it kind of almost had like an orangey look. So I kind of was upset, but I was too far gone. I couldn't really fix it. The hairline is looking real crazy, but I'm gonna try to pull the curls down in front of the hairline instead of having it all pushed back because I can't do the baby hair thing. I tried this method of cutting the lace before and I hated it, but I know most people do it and they said it fits better. So I'm gonna try it. And I did it and I still hated it because it still wasn't the best for me, but I'm glad I tried it again because it wasn't the worst. So I know I see people spray the hair and then they pull the hair back with a comb. So that's what I tried to do. And it worked out a little bit, but I felt like the spray kind of was getting all over the place and it was getting too far down my face. I was definitely a little nervous of it sticking too far down my face. I used a blow dryer and it ended up making the hair get really stiff because the spray got all on the top of the hair, but it ended up working out. I put the band on top so it could lay down and let it sit for like a good 10 or 15 minutes. I'm back. I'm trying to remember the mantra I said earlier, but things are looking like it's going downhill, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, shit, is this stuff now? This ain't going good, y'all. Y'all, I came too far to stop now. So I did the whole cut in the ball cap. It still didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but it's definitely better than I've done before when I tried the ball cap method. So not bad. I just wish the front would have laid down a little bit flatter. And that's why you see me adding the extra spray trying to get it flat, but all good. Like I said, I didn't even need to do the ball cap method for this. I was just trying to do something different because I haven't tried it in a while but it wasn't really necessary. I don't know how it happened, but you see right here? My hair is out. Don't know what happened, but I'm gonna keep going. So the wig, it feels nice and tight, like for a small head, and it does feel stretchy. If you have a large head, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to really fit in it, but for my little baby beanie head, it fits really well. With this, I don't even feel like I have to cut any ear tabs. I feel like it's good on the sides. Is it gonna lay on the sides? Probably not, because of this. It was said that cutting the lace with the eyebrow razor was the best, so that's what I did. And I actually like doing it with that. It was just really hard for me to do it on my head like that. But I did it and it came out okay. Even though this looks crazy, it is definitely like holding right now. Like wherever it is stuck, it is holding. Um, I have mad hairspray right here or melt spray, whatever it's called. So I'm gonna put water on it and see if I can loosen it up and then try to figure it out and then maybe do some baby hair or something like that because if, and I don't even know how to do baby hits, but if I figure out how to do it, I could save it in that way, possibly. So, I'll be back. <clears throat> this is what I came up with so far, okay? I told y'all I'm not good with the baby hairs, but I tried to cover it. There's still some, like, if you see me up close in person, there's still some areas where it's like, mm, you can fix that. So I'm gonna fix it. I'm just gonna finish this wig out. I did not cut the baby hairs. Let me let me say that. I did not cut the baby hairs because it still has like somewhat of the stiff ebon spray on it. So I didn't wanna cut it and mess it up. So I just swooped everything up. It is not cut. So that's probably why it also looks like crowded, but yeah. I'm gonna use wrapping lotion and some water and we're gonna see what's up. So with just water, it's actually curling really nice. Really, really nice to be honest. 
and this is without no product without me really combing it this is literally just water and it's coming out really good so you can see the back I'll do the side. See what it looks like. I think this wig is cute and it has a lot of potential. If I wanted to wear it straight back, this is how it would look. Yeah, this is cute. I'm gonna put on a little foundation so y'all can see a little bit more like a zhuzh, not too much, but. I am that girl. I am that girl. All you gotta do is believe and you will achieve. Even though I didn't believe it halfway through. Your girl is that girl. It looks so good. It looks so good. Y'all, I was so nervous. It looks amazing, if I do say so myself. I absolutely love it. I mean, I still gotta fix the lace. I was able to hide it pretty good. And honestly, the hair is super soft and lightweight. Like, all I did was have the wrapping lotion in it and water, and it is super soft, like, I don't know, Mess up the curls, but I could put my hands through it. And it's probably 85% dry already. Not the best, but it is not the worst. I'll tell you that. I didn't know thing. The only thing about this wig that I don't like is that it doesn't have that parting space. So like the track is literally, where is it? Literally right here. So I had to make sure I brush this up so that way that track is not showing but other than that i like it i would definitely go back and get another color hopefully they send me another color if not i'll buy it myself but this looks so good i'm gonna give you the full 360. Yeah, girl look good. She did good. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I hope y'all do too. I'm going to give y'all a close up on what it actually looked like. But from far away, <laughs> you can't tell. So this is what I did. Like I said, I'm not good with baby hairs. But I tried. It's hiding. The little flaps down here on the side is hiding. It's hiding on this side as well. Hopefully y'all can see it. But it's on there. It's on there tight. Pull it right here. It's on there tight. This is what the hair looks like. I still have to figure out how to do this frontal situation because I don't have to keep faking to make it all the time. But I'm glad I did it. So thank you guys for watching, being a part of this scary journey. Just to recap, I didn't know what I was doing. Still don't know what I was doing. I messed up with the ball cap. I messed up with putting the foundation on because it was uh, a foundation that was like a little too red. So I know better than to not do that next time. And honestly, I didn't even really need the ball cap because it was only a little bit of lace. I did the most, but whatever. My hair only has mousse and water in it. The curls look great. It takes product, obviously, very well. Get you this wig. 
I'm going to put all the information down in the description box. I'm going to put the link, the price, all of that. It's definitely worth it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe because it would definitely help me. Please comment down below. I would love to see y'all in the next one. Let's converse. Later. Even if I can't make the wig look perfect, I'm here to show the people who don't know what they're doing, they can fake do it until they know how to do it. Because that's what I do. And I do it in style.